Welcome back to the Energy Reset series. So just to recap, we're talking about grounding for energy reset because that's where we need to begin. Now, I want to add to the discussion today that when we're grounding, so we're sending anything that is not useful to ourselves back into the earth. Another thing that we can do is we can be in gratitude. Instead of just releasing the negative stuff that's in our energy system, whatever feelings or whatever tightness or difficulty or tension you may be feeling in your body as you're breathing it and you're focusing on yourself, you're bringing your awareness back into your body and then you're moving whatever it is that that arises in your body, whether it's in your shoulders, in your heart, in your belly, in your hips, in your back. So wherever that tension may be, what you want to do is you want to move it down into the earth. And so you can feel after that in a sense of immense gratitude for the planet, for sustaining us and for giving us the nourishment that we need and the energy that we need, the protection that we need, the ground that we walk on, the ground that our home sits in where we feel safe, the ground that makes up our favorite place that we love to go to, all of those things. So you can send this gratitude, this love down into the earth. And then part of what you want to do then is once you have released is you want to start moving the earth energies up your body. If you're standing, you can move it up your feet and then just feel or imagine the earth energies moving up through the soles of your feet and then up your ankles, up your calves, your lower legs, and then your thighs and then up to your hips and so on, moving those earth energies up to, through your entire body and then beyond uh, through the top of your head. So you want to become this channel of earth energy. You feel these earth energies flowing to you and then moving through the top of your head. Now, when you are moving those energies up, if you're seated, then you can do the same thing. If you're seated, you can move them up your legs, especially if your legs are touching the ground and the soles of your feet are touching the ground, you can start by moving the energies up your legs. And then also imagine that there is a grounding cord is coming out through your root, through the seat and connecting to the earth and bringing up the energy from the earth to replenish you. When you imagine that root or that cord down into the earth, you want to make it as wide as you need to make it. A lot of times, again, we're grounding, and I think I mentioned this on day one or day two, a lot of times we're grounding with our roots too narrow. So you want to make your roots really wide, or you just want to think of a channel that's open, just bringing energy up into your body from the earth. And then focus on all the qualities of the earth. Focus on nourishment as the, the earth gives the uh, nourishment to the plants that gives the ability for plants to grow. You can focus on the warmth of the planet, which is why a lot of animals burrow into the earth for their home. That's how they protect themselves, how they keep themselves warm. So you can, all these positive qualities of the earth, the fact that it provi provides a firm foundation beneath us and all of these qualities, as you're bringing the earth energies up, you can just be thinking of those qualities moving into and replenishing your life force energy. Remember that our bodies are comprised of all the elements that also comprise the earth. That means that we can energetically connect with the earth. And in fact, our bodies return to the earth after we after our physical body dies. So we want to be again connecting to the earth to release and then to replenish ourselves. 
And that is the first thing we need to do before we start working on our boundaries. We need to first ground. I want to leave you with that today and adding those these simple next steps to our grounding practice, what you're going to do, and you can go ahead and do it with me if you're in a place where you can focus on yourself right now. You can breathe in through your nose, feel the air as it moves into your body, feel what the air does to your body. It starts to expand your shoulders, your chest, your belly. Then when you breathe out, there's a contraction and then you breathe in and there's an expansion. You want to do that breath and move into that awareness into your body. Once you have that, and it's going to take two, three, four breaths for you to move your awareness into your body. Once you have that awareness in your body, you want to start feeling what arises. So what do you notice that's arising in your body? And then you just want to stay with it. So stay with it for a few seconds and just allow it to release. Now, when it releases, it's automatically flowing down into the earth. If it doesn't release automatically within 60 or 90 seconds, then you want to, with your intention and with your muscles, you can also do it with a sweeping motion of your hands, is to start moving that energy down into the earth. And so you can do it as fast as you can do a more fast sweeping motion. You can do a more slow motion and you can even put in a little bit more effort and force if it seems like it's something that that doesn't want to, that isn't moving. And sometimes you may need to do that for several grounding sessions for you to actually feel a relief of that tension. So once you've done that and you moved your energy into, so anything that you want to release into the earth, then you're going to explode all of that. So imagine this pile of things that you've released down into the earth, and then you want to explode them into a million pieces and like glitter, see them back melting in back into the earth or the or earth absorbing that energy. And then as you do that, you can start feeling this gratitude to the earth for for serving us in this way, for doing this for us. And of course, this relationship is mutual. So yes, we connect to the earth and, and we are having the earth help us to release these energies and but the earth uses that energy and recycles that energy so no energy is ever lost and so once you are feeling this immense gratitude for the earth then you can start moving those earth energies up your body and as you move the earth energies up your body just think about all that the earth represents to you so it represents renewal it represents Clearing. It represents warmth. It represents the seasons and the cycles of nature. So anything that the earth represents, it rep represents a foundation. So there's a bedrock of the earth. There's the warmth and the fire that is that um, protects and gives warmth during during cold season. So all of that you want to move that up and then feel yourself being nourished. Feel yourself being supported. Be, feel yourself being, you can feel it as a warmth that's moving up your body. And so you can, if you don't at first feel anything, then you can just use your imagination. After a while, you won't need to use your imagination. You will start feeling the, as those earth energies move up your body and then start filling up more and more of your body. And, and I can feel that just as I'm uh, talking to you, I, I feel that energy moving up my body. When you remember that intention is very powerful. Yes, we are always in a sense connected to the earth because we're always walking on the earth. We're always on the earth. However, having that intentional connection and having that intentional movement of our energy down into the earth and then the earth energy up into our bodies in a very intentional way when where we are receiving all of those positive qualities of the earth um, 
up into our bodies. That is our objective. That is what we're aiming for. You can use this practice, not just in the morning when you're starting your practice, and that's what a lot of people recommend, but you can use it during the day. You can use it when you're feeling the afternoon slump. You can use this energy to revitalize. You can use this energy in the evening when you're starting to feel tired and you still have a lot of things that you need to do. Then, of course, you can use it at the end of the day to clear your energies before you go to sleep. There's a lot of different ways that you can use this particular practice. The key is learning the practice, becoming really comfortable with the practice, being able to do the practice as soon as you think about it. Um, the more that you do this then the more that it becomes automatic and you are able to maintain this grounded feeling. Again, thank you so much for joining me and we'll talk to you next time.